February 22. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. Hebrews 13 verse 5. Selfish prayers are too expensive. Some have gained wealth and lost the truth and its service, some have gained health, only to find that with it they gained other trials no less severe, some have had their dear ones restored to them from the very jaws of death, only to wish afterward that God had not answered their prayers, or, more correctly, to wish that they had accepted the Lord's wisdom and providences trustfully, contentedly, uncomplainingly. Spiritual Israel should use wisely such things as are within their reach, accepting all as God's gifts with thanksgiving, but their petitions should be for spiritual gifts, including patient endurance and heart contentment. For the Christian's life to be one of covetousness not only would make him selfish but also would prompt him to inflict injury upon others, therefore, it is not a quality to be cultivated in one whose highest aim is to give up all things for others' good. The spirit of contentment with what we have will prove a wholesome restraint upon the disposition of covetousness. Questions, was I covetous or contented this week? Why? Under what circumstances? With what results? Poems of Dawn, 278, This too will pass. Poor heart, break not, though cruel be thy wound. This too will pass. The weariest day will end in sunset light, and dawn must follow e'en the darkest night. Nor drink too deeply of joy's honeyed cup. This too will pass. Caressing hands will lose their loving touch, and words mean nothing, that once meant so much. Ah, then, whatever thy state, seek thou content. This will not pass. True rest is found in God, He knows and cares. His heart of love thy every sorrow shares.